My name's Tim Maltman, I'm the Director of IMOS, the Integrated Marine Observing System. Oceans matter to Australia. We have the third largest ocean territory on the planet. We derive a lot of economic wealth from the ocean. As an island continent, our borders are maritime. The ocean moderates our climate and our weather. Many Australians live on or near the coast and derive a lot of services from the ocean. We have equipment on the Great Barrier Reef and right down on the Antarctic Shelf, in the Pacific Ocean and in the Indian Ocean. It's a collaboration. What it's doing is bringing together the strengths of multiple institutions and blending them into a single national program. Uh, and it's an infrastructure. We're investing in equipment, in the human capability to operate it, and importantly in data sets and time series that will increase in value through time. Observing the ocean is a really complex thing to do, so we have to have good plans. The way we've gone about this in IMOS is to establish what we call nodes. We have a blue water node covering the open ocean, and then we have a series of regional nodes that collectively cover the continental shelf and coastal oceans of Australia. Through those nodes we brought together the scientific community and the stakeholders to write plans that guide us in terms of what do we need to observe, where, when and how. Uh, those plans have been out to international peer review and they provide a really strong scientific underpinning for the system. At the end of the day we have to be focused on how this is relevant and how it has impact for Australian society. So we think about this by what we call the circle diagram in IMOS. In the centre we have the institutions that operate the system, um, but at the next layer out because we've uh, engage the whole community in planning the system and because we make all of the data openly accessible everyone can use it. That enables us to generate a really wide range of scientific outputs. They go from peer-reviewed publications right through to some of our observations being used by the Bureau of Meteorology on a daily basis in their forecasting. Therefore we can have a wide range of impact across sectors of society, government and industry um, in uh, education and training and science and research but also in environment, in fisheries, in defence and in development of offshore resources. We have a facility in IMOS called the Australian Ocean Data Network um, and that's very important because it enables all of the data to be discovered, accessed, used and reused in perpetuity. It's a key part of the system. We also try and find uh, ways to make the information more usable to more people more often. One way we do this is we map all of the real-time data on a daily basis through IMOS Ocean Current. That's very useful for the scientific community but it's also a great interest to the fishing community, to the yachting community, even to the ocean swimming community. I think the key to IMOS is collaboration. We have a very large uh, ocean territory and a relatively small population. So that makes collaboration really important, but also quite plausible. We've been given an opportunity through Australian Government funding of the ANQUIS program uh, to create something really quite special here. And I think the marine science community has grabbed that with both hands. We've created a national collaboration that gives us a competitive edge.